So with Iridium in the near future believed to be the currency for a new vendor machine full of quest items, which I will state I'm hoping will offer the best of the quest rewards in different variants with anointments. But with this machine coming soon and us no longer able to farm Iridium from the Villa Ultraviolet, I thought I'd bring you guys this incredible Iridium farm I found like a week before this DLC dropped due to early access and at the same time trying to figure out dedicated drops for the new legendaries. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So Iridium probably isn't something right now you need as I know for the most part people who have played this game since the very start will have stacks and stacks of Iridium. I'm the same, but Gearbox will soon introduce a vending machine near Crazy Earl which I am to believe its currency will be Iridium. This vending machine will sell quest items. Quest items which are believed to be available from this machine offering different variants. And well something like this is indeed needed due to the stacks of Iridium we have. But when this machine does come, when this vending machine does arrive, and we are all out of Iridium trying to purchase things we want, what do we do then? Well guys, we do this. Because this farm right here allows you to get more Iridium in a shorter period of time than what I believe you could get within the Villa Ultraviolet at the same time. I mean, it is that crazy. So within the Iridium forest, there's an enemy you can farm called the Hydrogoians. These enemies appear in number, but these guys also behold an enormous amount of Iridium considering for each one you kill. But what's even better about this is you can make these enemies duplicate, meaning even more Iridium. So when you are here, look for the Iridium Bellics. These are of that yellow colour. These are the guys that duplicate. Now as far as I can tell, after you damage them, they will drop a pool of radiation. Out of this pool will appear enemies by the name of copied Hydrogoians. And I mean you can get quite a number of these guys to appear. Now here you can kill them as they spawn, or you can just let them duplicate. Like I did for reference to the video though, I let them gather up. Either way though, as long as you don't kill all the Radiant Bellics, you can keep on going with this farm. If you do accidentally kill them all, quit out and load back in. But obviously get that Radiant while you are here before you quit out. Now as you can see on screen now, after doing this for a little over 2 minutes, you can see upon me killing all what I had, not including others I accidentally killed and collected that loot, you can see the amount of Iridium here is absolutely crazy. Like each enemy drops a decent amount unlike anywhere else in this game that I have seen. So yeah guys, do what you gotta do. Now I found for some reason shooting them with a corrosive weapon makes them duplicate quicker. I mean I could be wrong or imagining this, but it just seemed that way for me. Obviously using a lower powered weapon here though would be the best because anything too powerful and you'll likely kill them straight away and you don't want that at all because then they won't dupe for you. But yeah guys just a quick little video on this amazing new Iridium farm and I hope it helps you out. On that note we have come to the end. If you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss the video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Ah.